Hi there. Welcome to day two of the egg lab. I have here my egg that has been sitting in vinegar for 24 hours. You will notice that it's got bubbles all around it in the vinegar. Take this plastic wrap off so you can see, get a closer look. You can see that there's bubbles all around it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, I'm gonna measure the, the mass of the egg, of course, just like I did yesterday and on day one. And then I'm going to put the, the, the egg in corn syrup. Okay, so first thing I gotta do, of course, is, is dump this out and rinse my egg off and rinse my cup out. The sink right here, I'm doing that in. Rinsed out cup. Rinsed off egg, okay. Egg's a little different. It's squishy now. You can see I can squish it with my finger, okay. It's soft, okay, so I need to measure the mass of it. So I'm going to put the scale on the... Screen so you can measure it. I, of course, am going to put the egg in the cup. Remember what the mass of the cup was from yesterday. And I'm going to measure it. And it looks like the mass today is 120.7. 120.8 or so 120.7 or 120.8 is the mass. I'm also going to measure the long and the short circumference in centimeters with my tape measure. Remember the centimeter sides are the side with the little markings on it. So long circumference. It's really, really wild because the shell's kind of like gone. The hard shell's gone. Long circumference looks like about 19 centimeters, 19 centimeters, and short circumference looks like it is 17 centimeters, or maybe 16.9. I'll say 17 centimeters. So 19 long, 17 a short circumference. Okay, so I've got to put that data in to my lab. Uh, I've got to write what the date is for day two, of course. I just followed through these instructions for day two. I need to enter that data in the lab after it's been soaked in vinegar for a day, what its mass was, what its long circumference was, what its short circumference was. Um, it's ob your observations at first, and then I'm going to put it in the cup and put corn syrup on it, and you can do your observations for after. Okay, so let's put it in the cup now that we've got our data, and let's cover it in corn syrup, do some observations, and then we'll leave it for tomorrow. So my egg in my cup. I'm going to pour the corn syrup on it. Goopy. So it's covered in corn syrup, and you'll notice this time it did not sink to the bottom. It's floating in the corn syrup, but it's not bubbling either, okay? Floating in the corn syrup, not bubbling. All right, so then we'll set that aside until tomorrow, and then we'll take it out of the corn syrup, rinse it off, and get our measurements again. All right, tune in tomorrow.